this tutorial video is for data communication and networking assignment. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. What's up guys? I wish everyone just fine. So today I would like to show a tutorial for you guys on analyzing network traffic activities. Of course and for sure, there are lots of ways to analyze network traffic activities. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze network traffic activities by using Wireshark. Have you heard about that? No? Well, let me introduce to you what is the Wireshark. But before that, let me introduce to you myself and group members first. Okay. My name is Nuri Nagwa Binti Zaidi and these are my group members. First, Nurul Husna Nabila Binti Abdul Wahab. Second, Nur Liana Saleha Binti Arifin. Next, Umi Najihah Binti Sulaiman. And last but not least, Siti Nur Shahira Binti Musa. Okay, so what is Wireshark? Wireshark is a network analysis tool formerly known as a terrier captures packets in real time and display them in human readable format. It includes filters, color coding and other features that let you dig deep into network traffic and inspect individual packets. What is the use of Wireshark? Wireshark is used for troubleshoot network problems, examine security problems, debug protocol implementation, and learn network protocol in general. So, we had just 5 network traffic activities that we will analyze. First, activity environment, which we explained by Ismail Nabila. Second, FTP, file transfer protocol, explained by Diana Soleha, HTTP, Hypertext Transfer, to transfer Protocol, explained by Umi Najiha, PIN, Packet Internet Broker, explained by myself, and lastly, PIN Pass, explained by Siti Nushahira, Benji Musa. Before you analyze the network traffic activities, you must install the Wireshark first. You can install the Wireshark at the website www.wireshark.org. So, let's check it out our tutorial video. Fine. Hello guys. So, I'm gonna show you the IPv6 environment. First, we're gonna open the command prompt and type in ipconfig and this is the windows ip configuration as you can see here there is ipv6 address and link local ipv6 address also we got the link local ipv6 address ipv4 address subnet mask default gateway and all of the reply and then after that i'm gonna open the wireshark software i'm gonna choose the wi-fi option and at the filter bar here i'm gonna type in ipv6 and as you can see this is the result this is the source address destination address and protocol there is a lot of protocols like MDNS, LLMR, SSDP and many more and if you want to see the frame length you can click on frame here and 
it shows the it shows the frame length and also it shows the arrival time and if I click the internet protocol version sheets here I can see that IPv6 is using binary language and it shows me the source address and destination address here that's all thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh today I will show uh, how uh, network analyzer traffic in uh, in WhatsApp. Okay, firstly, uh, I will analyze about uh, FTP. What does mean FTP? FTP is Fast Transfer Protocol. It's a standard network protocol used for the transfer of computer file from a server to a client using the client server model on computer network. Okay, firstly, open uh, WhatsApp. Okay, choose a uh, Wi-Fi. Okay, make sure uh, WhatsApp is uh, connect to Wi-Fi. Okay. Next is a packet or packet. Okay. After that, uh, open comma prom. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Open comma prom. Type FTP. FTP. The. Uh. Uh. NCLV. Dot com. Okay. Press enter. Okay. After that, I'll click at uh, WhatsApp, okay, FTP. Okay, that's uh, only one uh, of a uh, packet. Okay, uh, in the packet is uh, only have frame, internet, internet protocol version, transmission control protocol, and file transfer for protocol FTP. Okay, after that, okay, you can see this at uh, all information. Uh, frame number, frame length, okay, uh, capture length also have okay. It is our source. Our source is subhost. Subhost this name of our network. Okay, uh, destination hon have process. So, okay, after that we can fit into the protocol version. Okay, version four differential certify. Okay, total length. Uh, 83 identification flex fragment time okay also uh, protocol tcp okay. transmission control protocol source, source port at the end have soft port and destination port okay source port at the 21 destination port by 9330 okay uh, also have sequence of number acknowledgement number so have collection window size, window size, calling factor. Okay, let's leave by transfer protocol FTP. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Hi everyone. Here I'm going to show you an analysis of HTTP get method by using Wireshark. First, we need to choose Capture, Options, and Start. Then, all the capturing alternate will display the time, source, destination, protocol, length, and info. Then, we go to Filter Bar and type HTTP and Enter. Next, go to the web browser, go to www.utem.edu.my and Enter. We go back to the Wireshark menu bar and click stop and we can read the frame the time source destination protocol length of the http you can see the hypertext protocol it will display the url that have been captured by the wireshark thank you hi guys i'm back so now I will show to you how to analyze network activities that I captured, which is here. Okay. 
What is PIN? PIN stands for Packet Internet Broker. It is a useful program for testing connectivity between two systems on DCIP network. It is also a computer network administration software utility to test reachability of the host on an internet protocol IP network. PIN operates by sending internet control message protocol ICMP echo request packet to the target host and waiting for an ICMP echo reply. Okay, now I will show you how to analyze PIN activities using Wireshark. Okay, now I will show you how to analyze PIN activities. First, you must make sure that your computer connected to Wi-Fi. Then I'm connected to YouTube stream Wi-Fi. So first, open Wireshark. And there are three options, wireless network connection, Bluetooth network connection, and wireless network connection. This show that there is a signal for the like for you type student. So I click here. And these are the packets that have been captured by the Wireshark. Okay, this display. How many packets that have been captured? So these are time, source, source, destination, protocol, line, and info. So since I since I analyze the activity, so I will search to NMB monitor and I will in the W uh, the Ethernet side. Ping. So here we are pinging the Ethernet side and we send the four packets and we receive four packets. So there is no packet that lost so after that we go to Wireshark again and type ICMP enter and these are the this source IP address for source and this the IP address for destination so in pin uh, we have four requests and four replies so here I will click Request here. There are many the frame number two four five three frame length seventy four baht and the Ethernet IP as you can see the source is on here which is which is a uh, uh, laptop that our laptop has this a uh, destination that software uh, which is the uh, that we have been pinning so the destination is a force and source is on here type IPv4 and internet control protocol as you can see here the type is 8 a copying request so the code is 0 and the uh, chat sound is correct, good, identify the secret number. That is for reply request. Uh, next, we go to echo ping reply. Here we can see the frame is 2454. And the frame length is 74 bytes. Same as the request. The Ethernet IP source you can hear it suppose and the signature is on here. Uh, the difference between uh, reply and request uh, the destination and source. Uh, the request the destination is suppose and the source is on here. Why the the reply the destination is on here and the source is so first type up before so next we go to internet control message protocol 
the type uh, become zero b uh, this will this show that uh, that we had got the reply from the website that we ping in as you can see before that the request the echo ping request is type it and it could as a string okay that's all for the ping activity so thank you Assalamualaikum. Now I'm gonna explain about path pin. As we know, path pin is a route tracing that combines features of pin and trace it with additional of info. It also sends packets to each router on the way to final destination over a period of time, and it compute results. Now I'm gonna open the wire shop. And click on the Wi-Fi to connect the Wi-Fi. Now we can see all the neighborhood traffic here. And now I'm opening the command prompt. And we are typing the command prompt for command prompt for Puff pin that is trace it minus D and I am using the term website. Now the program will tracing uh, the route to the UTM website and the pin path will send package to the website to complete the result based on the package which is throughout each hook and as we can see here maximum is 30 hook and we wait, we have to wait until the trace complete Now, as we can see here at uh, 18 hook, the trace complete and now we go back to the wire shop and click on the red button yes to stop the running left capture and at the filter, type the ICMP and here shown all the request and reply and choose request or reply to see the details and now I'm, I am choosing the request now here are the details about frame, internet 2, internet protocol version 4 and ICMP are shown here and go back to this here are all the details about destination, source, protocol, length and info are shown here and I think that's all for Puffing, thank you. That's all from us. I hope this particular video will help you more on analyzing network traffic activity. Thank you, guys. Assalamualaikum and bye bye.